Fat Cafets YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Let us make this delicious pot of chicken, dumplings, potatoes and spinach one pot. darlings it's so nice to have you back here in my kitchen for yet another amazing recipe we're jumping straight into it over here i've got my pink beans that's soaking overnight and yes my darlings i just had to show you my gorgeous flowers hubby got for me and here i am going in with my beans that's rinsed off and i'm gonna add it to a pan add in some thyme, and i'm gonna let that cook down on low for about an hour okay in a separate bowl i went in with my chicken this is basically some chicken wings that i cut in half I have already cleaned and washed it with lemon juice, vinegar, and cold water. And I'm gonna season it with some oil, some all purpose seasoning. I like to go in with some thyme. I like to go in with my salt as well. And I'm also gonna go ahead and add in some celery powder, add in some all purpose seasoning as well, some paprika. Listen, put whatever you like, okay? Over here, I have got my green seasoning, and I did go ahead and give that a good mix. I'm gonna set that to one side to marinate, and in the meantime, gonna work on my dumplings so i'm gonna add in one cup of plain flour and i'm also gonna add in a little pinch of salt the salt is optional but a little pinch will give it some flavor i also go in with about two to three heaping tablespoons of some cornmeal and i like to add in some mixed herbs in there as well okay because this is going to be some herb dumplings and then i'm gonna use a spoon and mix it up gradually before going in with a little bit of water i only have about half a cup of water but i want my dumplings to be nice and firm so instead of adding everything in one go i like to just add it in gradually until i have that desired consistency but in reality you're probably gonna need about half a cup to your one cup and a bit of flour and cornmeal okay now once you've mixed it in and you have a nice dough going on go ahead and roll it into a ball and then you want to set that to one side so the dumplings can rest i find that the dumplings taste so much better when it rests for a bit okay My beans had been cooking for about an hour i'm gonna go ahead and check on it as you can see it crushes really easily when i squeeze it together so i'm gonna go ahead and let it keep cooking for a little bit longer while i go ahead and start the cooking process of this gorgeous meal okay so to a pan i went in with a little oil let that get hot and over here i've got my seasoned chicken wings i'm gonna go ahead and just add that to the pan it's nicely marinated you know from ever since the beans were cooking the chicken was marinating on the side so you know it is full of flavor okay so once all the chicken pieces have been added to the pan you want to go ahead and just cover that up i like to give mine at least a good little five minutes or so before adding anything else in there and make sure to add in all of the juices everything that's in that bowl don't leave nothing behind okay that is full of flavor and leftover seasonings make sure you scrape it down get rid of everything into the pan okay then after about five minutes of cooking in my pan go ahead and mix it in well okay you can go Go ahead keep your heat on a medium high heat okay we just want to get a little browning going on to this meat nothing too much we're not making stew but i just like to start off the cooking process this way
once i'm happy with my chicken wings this is where i go in with my beans that's already cooked and i add it in there with all the liquid and everything as you can see it doesn't have enough liquid in there so we need to add in a little bit more i don't want to make a really big pot of soup today because sometimes you start off with a generous amount and before you know it you have a big pan of soup going okay so i went in with another four cups of water and then i went in with two peeled potatoes and one carrot i'm just gonna let that cook down for about five minutes okay now after about five minutes the potatoes are not cooked or anything but i don't want it to get mushy or anything like that so this is where i go in and add in my dumplings okay now this soup takes no more than 30 to 40 minutes to put together because chicken wings cook so quickly if you're using a different type of meat like drumsticks or something that's really meaty and stuff like that you know you'd have to adjust the cook time for the meat but with chicken wings 20 to 30 minutes and they cook so easy okay so i'm just going ahead and i just put my dumplings in i did roll it into some round balls and yes my darlings this is pretty much how i do it so simple over here i've got some frozen spinach i got mine from morrison's you can use some freshly chopped spinach it's entirely up to you and then i add in um one scotch bonnet pepper on the top like that and yes my darlings at this point you can go ahead and adjust the seasonings to your own preference i add in a little curry some all-purpose seasoning black pepper and a little salt again because we added in so much liquid to this and you don't want it to be losing any flavor okay and rinse out that bowl just like granny taught you okay so yes darlings go ahead and cover this up let it cook down for about 10 to 15 minutes okay that's all you will need because your beans are already cooked your chicken wings are nearly cooked you want your dumplings to cook and your potatoes to cook and still remain nice and firm and yes darlings this soup is looking so rich and tasty and as you can see it's looking so good i like to give it another minute or two so it thickens nicely and yes my darlings this is it it's looking so good and it's so flavorful honestly my family loves this so so much i'm gonna now remove my scotch bonnet pepper from the pan before i turn it off because i don't want this to burst in my pot because my two-year-old and my six-year-old they don't like any heat i don't like the heat myself but i can handle a little something let me know in the comments if you too can handle something okay so so this is the soup all done as you can see it's so rich the gravy is nice and thick the beans are full of flavor the dumplings have these beautiful herbs inside and the chicken wings you know it is full of flavor and it's healthy it's delicious you don't have too many excessive things in there and even my six-year-old and my two-year-old they eat this like it's the best thing ever so i really hope you enjoy the recipe try it soon i'm gonna plate up a nice bowl for you to see here and oh my goodness it looks so fresh and nice thank you so much for watching and i can't wait to see you in my next one